altro <coughs> buongiorno a tutti signore e signori e benvenuti a Marco Play 3 2018 il quinto appuntamento della maratona lo showcase Sony che è avvenuto alle 3 di questa notte però come è già accaduto per Devolver Digital fare la live alle 3 di notte proprio non ce l'avrei mai fatta quindi reazione indifferita ora devo essere sincero ho letto qualche cosina non ho visto niente non ho visto assolutamente nulla dal punto di vista visivo proprio ho letto un po' quello che c'è stato vabbè a parte i quattro titoli first uh, messi in copertina diciamo Death Stranding, Spider-Man e Ghost of, of Tsushima se non sbaglio o Tsushima non mi ricordo Poi non mi ricordo poi ho letto anche di altre cose annunciate però non ho visto niente quindi adesso iniziamo a vedere la conferenza lo showcase come lo chiamano loro visto che quest'anno hanno deciso di fare in modo un po' diverso quindi lasciatemi un attimino settare qua e mettere sul video della conferenza solo conferenza quello che è stato postato da GameSpot tra l'altro e si parte Hey guys! Good evening everyone and, mm. and welcome. And thank you for making the time tonight to, uh, to come to church. This, this fulfills your obligation for the coming Sunday, for those of you who need to know that. Um, but thank you. Thank you for coming out. Um, it's great to see the congregation as large as it is tonight under this single tent. Um, And for those of you who may be a bit apprehensive because you remember that movie Kingsman, <laughs> this, this, it, just, it doesn't end that way. Ah, la scena in cui... No, per favore, no. Again, thank you. Um, and as you can see from this evening, um, here again at PlayStation, we've decided to mix it up a little bit in the way that we're doing our E3 presentation this year. You know, we look at what the stories have we tell to tell and, and, and the things that we want to impart to our fans here with us and their fans uh, on the live feed worldwide. And that changes our design, design ideas around what we can do for this show. So tonight, we're going to have, rather than a bombardment of new creative, we're going to take all of you uh, on a journey deeper into some of the key titles We've talked about before, but we're going to talk about them in a different way tonight, a, a deeper way, so you can learn about what's going on with these games and what's coming up in the future. You know, what we look at here um, at Worldwide Studios with Inside Sony Interactive Entertainment, we really want to take our love for gaming and make it sing, and make it sing very loudly. Um, it's a gaming industry, it's sometimes called, but certainly inside our studios, we see gaming as a vocation. It's a calling. Hmm. It's what we do. It's what we have to do. Our teams of creatives and studios and designers, they have stories to tell and things they want to show you and places they'd like to take you. That's what we're trying to do here at PlayStation. Uh, this coming year is going to be all about those kind of games that we can deliver to you in a way that's going to blow your minds. And tonight, we're beginning here in this tent, we've, uh, this church tent we've created here uh, in Los Angeles to let you start that journey with us and let us tell you uh, our stories for the next hour or so. So, without further ado, okay. it is my great honor and my unique privilege to invite to the stage and introduce to you Gustavo Santorea. Gustavo Santorea. Not the cats. Ah. Ah, è Benjo, quindi penso sia The Last of Us parte 2. solo che le introducono con un concertino di Benzo.
altri che sono fanno, perché ci sono altri strumenti che sono... Ed eccoci qua. Vai col trailer. When out one night to make a little round, I met little city and I shot her down. When back home, jumped into bed, 44 pistol under my head. Ah, ecco perché. Ah, ecco perché la location è così adesso, ho capito. Ok. Adesso è chiaro. È per esitare il gioco stesso. about my patrols. Don't go here, don't go there. It's funny how involved he gets whenever you're scheduled to go out. Yeah. She's, uh, it's been on quite the show. Hmm. I gave you guys two weeks to sleep back together. Not gonna happen. Did she, uh, say something to you? Make it one week. Ellie! Hey! What took you so long? Oh, I'm here, aren't I? Tina? Jesse? Hey, don't forget we leave the first light, so get some rest. Yes, sir. Such a dick. Come on. Why don't you start with me? Okay, I have a very serious question for you. Ah, yeah. How bad do I smell? Like a hot pile of garbage? Oh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Come on, I'm not Rose. <laughs> you love it. Every guy in this room is staring at you right now. Eh, è 
purtroppo c'è anche l'altra parte, perché questa è l'altra parte. Vale. Cacchio però, è eh, lì! Cacchio è lì! Gameplay quindi! Gameplay! Però devo metterlo passare dal bacio in senso a... E per far vedere il contrasto, però... Fa un po' strano. Mi ricordo che adesso è il primo tenente Horizon, quando... La protagonista si nasconde tra le folle. Proprio il momento iniziale. Ma io credo che sia stata la transizione, no, no io credo che sia molto migliore da prima da John Pay. Anche qui per i pochi secondi che ci sono visti di questa parte di questo che mi ha fatto però. Ma lei ha nasce di questa. Vedete? Con la gentilezza si è tenuto. Nell'interiore di qualcuno Spread out Ah, ia, 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 lo zaino che un po' va dentro le foglie, va bene l'approccio che si sta seguendo per questo tipo di game ecco vai con l'arma colpito colpito con l'arma come ha fatto a non vedere madonna c'è quella davanti per pura fortuna invece che non l'ho visto e qui eh meno male che se no si fosse portato ah non voglio non ci sono arrivato qui eh niente è andata au E però adesso hanno chiamato anche gli altri giustamente quindi... Scappa e scappa Adesso pistone Watch yourself attenta ecco appunto sotto la wolf she came through here double back go aia mi devo cercare che tutto è auto aia 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 No! Non hai fatto in tempo, mi dispiace! Chiudi! Ecco, punto! Ottimo iniziale! Eh, punto! Eh, c'è un problema! Ah. Un 
po' conveniente però la bottiglia là Ehi, vabbè, scemo anche tu Aspetta un attimo Wow Merci Merci o merci per... La benda per... Per l'emergenza Freccia, ecco con cosa Ce la fa, freccia Assolutamente eh, Sono un po' il porto Dovrebbe trovare Eh, eh, eh Ah, combina Ah, freccia esplosiva, combina Ok, vabbè, ha distratto. Vabbè, onna santa. Eh, quello ha un sete. Wow. Eh, c'è anche l'altro. Ma che freccia, ma che niente. Freccia, freccia, prendile. Freccia. Oh, eh, buona. Questo resiste un po' troppo, eh. Ha oh. la testa? Ha la testa? No? Perché? Okay. Ellie. Ah, no. Tonto. Un po' duro. È finita qui con solo uno dei quattro live. That was a new look at The Last of Us Part 2. We're here live in Los Angeles at the PlayStation E3 Showcase. Okay, We're taking a quick intermission while folks move uh, along to the next part of the experience. We'll have a little mm -hmm. bit more to share on that later. And I am joined by my good friend, Ryan oh Clements. Uh, Hello, Mr. Schumann. How are you? It, I'm good. It's such a pleasure to be no, here at the PlayStation Showcase. Uh, and it's going to be a huge night for Worldwide Studios a little later when the showcase resumes. Uh, and what better guests to have teoria, for joining us about Worldwide Studios? Than the chairman of Worldwide Studios, Mr. Sean Lane. Uh, oh, yes, sir. Yeah, good to be here. I thought you were just on stage. How did you get up here so fast? We created this pneumatic tube that I was dropped into and shot right, right, right across the studio here. Right, right over here. Well, it's yes. good to have you here. Well, it's so. great to be here. And, and I think I was a very, uh, 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 a very powerful start for our EFU program for this year. That's right, there's much more to come, but I do want to zero in on The Last of Us Part 2 yeah. here just for a moment. You know, as chairman of Worldwide Studios, you work very closely with Naughty Dog. These guys need no introduction. Indeed. And I'm curious, uh, from your perspective, where is their head at when it comes to developing this game? Where's their, where's their head at? I mean, they are, they are everywhere. They're looking at um, what can do in the next iteration of The Last of Us series. And I think what we saw tonight, I mean, that, that piece of, 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 of content was, was so impactful. I mean, the whole relationship between Ellie and Dina going into the combat sequence really shows that um, they're pulling out all the stops over at Naughty Dog, and they're going to have a very broad and ranging game that's not going to make you only 
only work at it as a player, but you're going to have to just think as a person what, 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 what you're coming up against. I can't wait to see more of that. And that was first gameplay we saw there of The yeah. Last of Us hey, Part 2. Looking, obviously, incredible. And speaking of incredible, I mean, Worldwide Studios lately. I mean, it's just been unbelievable. Horizon, you had God of War, which needs no introduction. And Detroit, Become Human. I mean, what is the secret? And what are you doing over there at Worldwide Studios? What's going on there? Rule number one is do no harm. Right. <laughs> right. A lot of ways, my job is just to move the boulders out of the road to make sure that creative talent can get where they need to go. You know, provide backup, provide scope. You know, provide generalized you know advice about where we can take this as a as, as an industry and, and, and as and as a as, as a gaming culture. But um, honestly, we've got 13 studios worldwide. Uh, we try to give them as much creative control as possible and just help support them through their vision. That's kind of what we've been trying to do here the last uh, dozen years or so with Worldwide Studios. I think right now, certainly in the PS4 era, you're seeing a lot of that coming into uh, coming into play right now. That's great to hear that. And uh, you know, I mean, speaking about making fans happy, I mean, there's, I think there's a question that I've been getting a whole lot, and it has to do with God of War. You know, right. it's a celebrated game. It's sold extremely well. It has a, a huge legion of, of fans. Game. And one of the things I wanted to mention was, you know, I get a lot of tweets mm -hmm. about New Game Plus. Right. You know, is this right. is this something that you and Santa Monica Studio are, are evaluating for God of War? You know, it's crazy. With the advent of social media, we've got we get a lot of real time feedback right. from the fans and the community, and we listen to that. And God knows my Twitter feed is is filled up with a lot of stuff that <laughs> we could talk about here or not talk about at all. But it's all important. We take it all all seriously. And New Game Plus was something that came through really strong, really hard through that mm -hmm. kind of feedback loop. And I'm happy to say today that the teams are working on it, and we should have some more updates on that. We'll put that through the blog, but it's going to happen. All right. Yes. Well, Definitely. I miraculously finished God of War with a two-year-old at home. That makes me very happy. Hmm. I will somehow find more scary. time. Oh, okay. I will find time to get. He wasn't watching. <laughs> okay, thank I wanna, God. I want to confirm yeah, yeah, yeah. that. Kids don't try this at home. Asleep. Uh, yeah. But yeah, thank you so much, Sean. And it's great to hear that you and, and the amazing team at Santa Monica Studio are making that happen. Hey, if we can create uh, functionality and features that allow people to spend more time in the worlds we build, that's by definition a good thing. Excellent. Fantastic. So New Game Plus, that is confirmed. That is coming to God of War. We'll have full details on PlayStation Blog shortly. We have a lot more to talk about, too. Yeah, and actually, Sean, I wanted to ask you about that about a month ago. Mm -hmm. uh, you did something a little bit out of the ordinary for our team, and you kind of came out and talked about the four main games mm -hmm. that we would be highlighting uh, tonight's PlayStation Showcase. I was wondering what the thought process was there. Well, you know, every year we try to let the the stories we have to tell design the experience we're going to create. And this year we felt that um, what we really want to do is take people on a journey deep into the content, deep into the four big pillar games we're working on right now, um, and get them to see a bit more about um, the stories you're trying to tell and, and the way it's going to be expressed and what they get out of it. It's a really wide range of, um, of uh, titles there, anything from uh, The Last of Us 2, which you saw right now, through Death Stranding and, and, and Spider-Man and Ghost. So um, this year I wanted people to know that don't come here expecting to have some big flashy new idea come out or, or some big surprise come out. Come here and sit with us and walk with us as we get through to see the uh, the background stories and the deep inside of the games we're working on. Wonderful. And we do have a lot more coming from those Worldwide Studios games in the showcase later tonight. Do you have uh, any personal games that you are most excited about? Well, they're all fabulous, and I think the teams are really crushing it right across the board. But, Fair enough. But one thing I would say is uh, there's one of the games that we're having out today that will be playable in three months. And available in stores, yeah, that and that's it. our favorite web slinger. Of course, Spider-Man. So we're going to see a lot of that tonight, and I think uh, the folks at home should be happy with what they're going to get. Awesome, thank you, Sean. Sean, thank you so much for dropping by. Always a pleasure to trade notes with the chairman of Worldwide Studios. It's great to see you guys. I'll head back to the pneumatic tube station. Though. All right, please do. Right. And wear the helmet. <laughs> we do have a lot more in store coming up in just a few minutes as the E3 showcase continues. But in the meantime, we also have some other updates for you while we wait during this short intermission. So I say we kick it off with a look at the latest from the world of Call of Duty. Ah, ecco, cioè nelle intermissioni mostriamo un po' di tutti e che devono riempire. Quanto sta durando la transizione? E non dico di persone, ma non la tengo. Per fortuna non è successo con i kit, quindi altrimenti per questo tutto, proprio con Grazie a tutti. 
piuttosto che avere una, l'esclusività della connessione in conferenze anche nelle pubblicità televisive. Welcome back. We are having the PlayStation E3 showcase kicking off in just a few more minutes. We're in a short intermission period here, but we've got some good stuff to talk about. And we've got some good friends as well. Yeah. Meredith Molinari and Ramon Russell. Welcome. Hi. What's happening? That's good right. to have you guys back. Yeah, it's good, good to be, to be back. Here, Friendly yeah. faces right before the showcase. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, excellent. So I say we keep this moving here. And uh, mm. when it comes to Call of Duty, we know that a bunch of remastered maps from Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 are making their way to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 this October on launch day. But what we just learned here is that those maps, those classic maps, are, are coming to Black Ops 3 as well for those who pre-order Black Ops 4 on PlayStation Store. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Um, but what if I don't own <laughs> Call of Duty Black Ops 3? Well, that's where it gets a little more interesting, my friend. So tonight, we are actually doing a surprise PlayStation Plus game drop. And that is going to be Black Ops 3. Black Ops 3 yeah. is coming to PlayStation Plus <laughs> later tonight. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, very nice. This is why I love E3, because not only do we get to share awesome news with our, our audience, but PlayStation Plus subscribers get a little treat. A little, a little tasty treat. A right. little, yeah. little mid-E3 supply drop for yeah. you there. there you, <laughs> you know, we've been sharing a lot of good news. We got to share five really cool announcements last oh. week when we did our countdown, kind of ah, ramping up for tonight's big showcase. Mm -hmm. That's right. We had the countdown to E3, and that was five game reveals and updates over a span of five days. A lot of great stuff announced. Let's take a quick look back at the highlights. Sembra un viaggio mentale di quelli infatti del Tetris Effect, un viaggio mentale di quelli infatti del Tetris Un giorno che è leggermente pieno da questo computer, perché non solo esce Anthem, esce anche Crackdown 3, ma porca troia! Ma spaziatele! I have to figure out what happened. Okay, wake up. Focus. Remember. From the creators of Fee and Flipping Death. You look like you've seen a ghost. That's the spirit. Comes a heartfelt story in VR. But really, who are you? che per tantissima regolette tra l'altro avevo visto dei video tempo addietro Bit Saber no? Bit Saber esatto spadata ricordo Bit Welcome back. We're just a few minutes away from the I E3 PlayStation Showcase. I mean, I, when I say a few minutes, I mean we're really... <laughs> <laughs> so let's keep moving here. There was a lot of great stuff here. Oh, and we could see the crowd is seated. Uh, the people are about ready to go. This show's about to continue, about to, to move into the big event. Yeah, it was great to see the countdown stuff, but I do think that there's like maybe one more thing we can sneak in there before we cut our way to the okay. showcase. Yeah, yeah, yeah let's, so. let's squeeze it in. Let's, let's squeeze, let's it, squeeze in. it in. Okay, so this next franchise boasts a huge huge loyal community of nearly six billion hours. Incredible stat. Yeah, they play that so much. A lot. They do. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, we're going to take a, a first look at the next chapter right now. Ah, that's Just to keep. And I'm going to 
That was a powerful new look at Destiny 2 Forsaken. It's coming out September 4th on PS4. A lot of great enhancements and content for that one. And, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks really good. There's a lot of buzz about that Gambit mode coming up. And guess what? If you're at E3, you can play it at Urban. Not too bad. But I, there's barely any time because we're about to get to the showcase. That's right. We are really seconds away when it comes down to it from the rest of PlayStation's E3 showcase. Thank you so much for watching. We've got a lot more in store tonight. Um, but for now... I think it's almost time. I Let's think go. it's almost time. Yeah, Should we, we get to it? I think why keep people waiting? Let's get to it. We have so much okay. more to cover. Okay. Yeah, Got it. a lot more in store. Yeah. So let's check it out live right now. Pensavo sarebbe stato ideale, però... Allora forse magari vengono qui. Magari, perché il pacing della conferenza ne gioverebbe. Lo spostamento è stato molto lungo. Diciamo un'idea interessante nella teoria, ma non realizzata bene nella pratica. Troppo lungo, troppo lunga l'interruzione. che siamo, e beh giustamente il nono giorno dell'invasione mongola e eh. non è che ci siano tanti sorrisi da queste parti. Un po' 
d'occhio Il colpo d'occhio È importante No, senti, questa risposta Where's para culo no, grazie. The bastards beat me to him. Now they're torturing him at the temple. Come on. You think the monks are here, Ben? We need him, Masako. <laughs> Down. We can take them. No. Remember Sago Bridge? We strike quietly, and they kill the monks. I'll guard the exits. Just get that monk. Sushi mag. I had that stuff off lock button. ha suonato però He called reinforcements. We have to move. Eh, punto. Masako. Stand aside, Jin. 
He betrayed my family. Aya. Run! If we fight, the Mongols win. They already won. Eccellente. Splendido, splendido. E il combattimento di combattimento in particolare perché ci sono le nuove passate, le scolte, le nuove per... Via, sembra che non da anni 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 eh, questo però no questo non è Dreams quindi intermezzo con Dreams è scoppio va bene però sono qua non hanno parlato del giorno scorso The oldest house is a shifting place there are rules and rituals. You can keep traveling deeper. un momento control sì, è un momento di stranamento fatto ah, eh, è di... eh, fatto un po' mi sembrava quanto un break Oh, <laughs> 
Relax, everything on Can't be here. I'm putting you under arrest. Jesus Christ. Perché avevo letto la consulta. Perché avevo letto questo contratto. Money is in my account. Always a pleasure. Però avevo ancora le sue All citizens, due to the citywide outbreak. And don't make my mistake. Anni, finalmente. If you see one of those things, uniform or not, you do not hesitate. Whatever it takes to save this city. Surprised you made it this far. Need info on my extraction. Survival's your responsibility. God damn it. Will you help me? Of course. It's an impressive display of strength. But we never meant for this to happen. It's coming. It's coming back. in questo modo è eh? uno più tre ancora Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Bathtub Guy, and we're here at E3 to take some looks at this new game I'm about to show you right now. Okay. Trover Saves the Universe. Let's give it a look. Oh, whoa. Whoa, there's some action platform stuff in this little piece of shit. I'm the Bathtub Guy. I'm always in my bathtub, but, you know, that's not about me right now. It's about this game. Whoa, look at that. That's exciting footage I just saw. Oh, I'm playing it right now. Look at me. I'm a cool cucumber over here playing this cool game. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Somebody call 711 because that's the emergency dial number for this in this re weird part of the galaxy because this is a sci-fi based thing. Hell, he's got electrocuted. Quante PS PlayStation VR? Non so di punto un po' altro comunque. Ah, tu no, ecco qua. E like it. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Eh, no, guarda che la conferenza Ubisoft è stata ieri, eh. Cause we get to be pirates again. Yep, you always did like this world. Still, it's a real shame we don't have a bigger ship. Hey. 
dei canali di tante volte erano ah e anche qui un <ride> po' di canale in the organization? Yes. Surprising, isn't it? Jack, don't you give this creep the time of day. Sora, stand down. It's the code. Mustn't strike a pirate aboard ship when said pirate offers to confabulate. I am looking for a box. Get down! Sora! They have come for us. Wait! Oh, no! Stop! Farewell! Oh, no. Arendelle is safer with me staying up here. Oh, please, go away! Chiaramente, uh, Xbox ha avuto il trailer con la mente di Antarctica. Ho avuto enough screams and sadness from those children. Yeah, and the whole time they were trashing our company in the process! You're following her. Maybe she's one of the seven pure lights we need. The new Seven Hearts. Now, set your heart free. And at the end, you'll finally realize what destiny has in store for you. In fact, your reward might be right around the corner. Hey, Axel. Huh? Hey, like in the look. <laughs> Cut your hair, too. Mm -hmm. perché i nomi non ci fanno niente Tre. tutti in un solo pacchetto Sica. e verrà come queste cose e verrà un bel po' però un package di nuovo no no senti no no fermatelo ferma No, 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 ci ha dato il sedere Cosa che fa? Porter Breaches Ma è il trainer, è il trainer o il video che è dato The man who delivers Tears Chiral allergy So You have dooms, like me What's your level? I've got the extension factor, but I think you got me beat. You can see me, right? No, but I can sense him. Wanna come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. I keep with that. I make deliveries. That's all.
cose visto che la standing è stato un po' particolare negli spazi yourself. Those things never stay gone for long. The time full fast forwards whatever it touches, but it can't wash everything away. The past just won't let go. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. Sam, what's your status? Corellium density is still increasing. My status is fucked. There's tons of them. Can you sit out the rain? No. They're closing in on my position. I have to move before they realize I'm in here. Sam, if one of those things eats you, it'll trigger a void out. You'll come back, sure. But the surrounding area will still be a crater. I got an idea. Il problema 
insieme che ancora non ho capito molto da me. Penso che ho visto un po' di più ma per esempio lì ancora non ho capito molto time fall away. Cioè, abbiamo visto che stava passeggiando ah. Ah. No, ma no Non mi insistete però no Eh, ok andate Too late You still don't know who I am, do you? Questo è gli attori in carne e ossa che... Questo tra l'altro è... è la zona più fredda. Dammi la tua mano nello spazio. Ripeto, Kojima è fatto. Kojima si è proprio fatto. Ma anche il video si è fatto un po'. E ho letto anche di questo. Signore e signori, Dio 2. E questa sì che è una sorpresa. Chi è che se lo aspettava già il sito di Dio? Okay? Yeah. Welcome to the park! Just in time for the fireworks! Why is he letting everyone out? I'll head for the main control center and see how bad the situation is. Got it. I'll go join the party. Everyone just quietly go back into your cells and lock the door behind you. Okay? Eight years. No biggie. 
Electro must be working for someone. Oh, no, no. <laughs> this is too good to be true. Scorpion, can you hold on a minute? I was in the middle of a phone call and it was business. <laughs> How do you like my new suit? Dashing. Where'd you get it? It's an exclusive club. I can look at that. Finisce qui, mi sa. I think they should be terrified. Okay. Quindi, eh, che devo dire? Perché purtroppo qui devo fare una divisione tra contenuto e conferenza in sé. 
la modalità perché il contenuto non posso dire che è Finalmente abbiamo visto Ghost of Tsushima che è veramente spettacolare è bellissimo il gameplay mi piace non sembra male però non si è visto molto purtroppo per quello che è stato spettacolare come si dice va bene però tempo non abbiamo visto abbastanza però mi sembra che è stato spettacolare oppure c'è ancora no è finito è finito Spectacular. <laughs> that was the PlayStation Oof. E3 showcase. A lot to take in. There was a ton of great worldwide studios titles. We actually got a little more to share here. Coming right up, we're going to have first live gameplay of Marvel Spider-Man right here just a couple of minutes. We have a new game to announce. We have some other stuff to talk about, too. What a show. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. Top highlights. Go. Oh. <laughs> Ghost of Tsushima. Oh, my goodness. Ghost of Tsushima looked absolutely incredible. Those, that color palette was insane. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Did you grow up with samurai movies absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> ready. i'm ready so yeah. yeah. thank you <laughs> <laughs> meredith oh resident evil 2 come on yeah. 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 that looked so good uh, i know a lot of us fans been waiting for that no. one um and there was like a moment where you're like i'm not really yeah. sure i know what this is and then as soon as he turned his head i was like yes and you get that oh, that so re4 style over the shoulder camera yes. action it's kind of like the, the ultimate dream if they were going to remake resident evil 2 that's what i would want so uh awesome stuff brian nice and gory Yeah. As, I, as Meredith said backstage, Death Stranding. <laughs> I now, we now have more questions. Yes, yes, wait, 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 more questions. It, it looks as if, I mean, I don't want to make any promises, but it looks as if we were getting kind of an allusion to a lot of gameplay in there and kind of what the character of Sam is going to be doing in this very unusual world that is inhabited by some very unusual and scary things. And people consume strange and unusual <laughs> yeah, well, bugs. Yeah, yeah, that was, babies, babies continue to be a theme. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't a myth. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what we're going to find out there, but yeah. So a ton of great stuff in the show overall. I mean, Neo 2, that was a crowd pleaser. That was one that was great to see get out there. We got an update on Kingdom Hearts 3. We got a lot of other great stuff. We had a new Remedy game. Remedy is on the way. Control. Really stylish trailer. Really looking to just, I want to learn more about that one. I mean, it just looks like wizards and like, I don't know what I was thinking. It was really stylish. I would expect no less from Remedy. But I got to say, I think my favorite was Marvel. Spider-Man. <laughs> Spider-Man yeah. looked yeah. Yeah. That that incredible. incredible. We had these legendary <laughs> villains are back. We had Rhino, Electro, Vulture. No, I'm missing poi... some. C'è da fare il discorso sulla conferenza in sé, sulla struttura. Welcome back. We just saw Sony's E3 2018 press conference. There was a lot of gameplay in there and a lot to break down. So we're going to get right to it. I'm Callie. I'm joined by Michael Hyam, Jake Decker, Hello. Tamar Hussein. What up? All right, so we got a lot to cover. I guess let's just start with The Last of Us. That was the first thing we saw. We can do chronological order like we did uh, Ubisoft. Okay. Sure. Damn. I'm still, like, I'm still recovering a little bit from everything. I didn't even, like, we obviously we didn't play, but I was still feeling tense. Like, my heart was pounding as Ellie was sneaking through those environments. And I think... One thing that really stood out to me was how uh, interactive she is in the environment. Like she moves through it naturally, like the way she was like squeezing between uh, like the aisles and that run down with like convenience store or something like that. And the way she was like pulled out from under the car after crawling on there, under there and just seeing all those animations, it, it seems seems very very polished. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I like the kind of uh, it opens with quite. Uh, Uh, like an unassuming tender moment like you have uh, speaking to this guy and then like out of nowhere this other girl appears and obviously she gets led onto the dance floor and they share a they have like they talk about she says I'm just a girl not a threat that's what it sounded like to me well yeah it was like um, but they should be scared of you LA the girl who she's yeah. with is like Ooh. they should be scared of you and they kiss Um, and yeah, then the way they kind of like transition into, into like her slitting someone's throat and dropping the body and being like God, that was brutal yeah, that, was so that kind of perfectly good. speaks to what the first game was kind of going for like the natural um, follow on from the first game it's a girl, first game was about kind of like this girl losing her innocence in a lot of ways right? like and hard like trying to get over the things that she's missed and go through this harsh world and the second game is about kind of trying to reckon from the world we can tell well, reconcile that tenderness I mean, Druckmann specifically said that the first theme the, the theme of the first game was love and the theme of this game is hate and you, get, you definitely get that through with Ellie I mean she has this really tender moment with whoever that girl is I don't think they said her name I think the guy she was with was Jesse um, that first of all like Michael and I were in here like 2018 let's go but um, I was really excited about that that was just like such a beautiful scene 
and uh, then uh, and then she general. goes into this extremely violent takedown that was so, is so emotionally I think charged. there's a lot of like Naughty Dog are amazing at telling stories but like this shows that I mean this, this, is, this is probably just like a segment from the game or it could be a, a bespoke trailer for this bit but like the craft of storytelling is like very very evident in that as well the way it does it uses the kind of like the, the kiss to transition between a, a kind of tender moment and something brutal and then back again it says everything about what this game is and the kind of character that Ellie is now and what she's gonna be struggling with and the kind of the inner demon that she's gonna be yeah throughout this game like if, if that's like like Druckmann says that it's like this game is going to be I, I suspect like a lot about her struggle between like realizing like who is my friend like yeah and who is my like who's my ally who's my enemy like even though I I know this this girl like and even if you track back to uh, uh, what is it uh, the DLC after yeah. Last mm -hmm. uh, behind. 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 yeah and it's like she almost it's like she's carrying on from there where it's like I've been here before I've had this relationship that just like ended in total heartbreak yeah. And moving on to this, it's like I feel like she's thinking back to those moments, and mm -hmm. it's just she's got, gotten a lot older too, yeah. and she's carrying on from her journey with mm -hmm. Joel, and she just looks so confused, or not necessarily confused, but conflicted at all times. Yeah, even I mean, even in combat, like when she was when she was like s s hacking on that dude with a with a damn machete or something, yeah. like she just like has such an intense look on her yeah. face.